Uh, I think we are live here. Is that, are we live yet? I think we are live. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, today's what, Monday? Monday, guys, Monday. October 16th on Monday. I hope you guys are having a great, great Monday. I know someone will be on Monday morning. Uh, it's about 2.20, uh, 2.20 on one uh, Monday afternoon here. I know you're you, uh, someone from watching from other countries, other parts of the world. Let me know, okay? Let me know which part of the world you are coming from. So uh, I can acknowledge you on my live chat there. Goodness, we have uh, Brandon's already joining us from somewhere. Let's see who else. We got Harry's also joining us too. And then uh, let's see here. Hold on a second here. For some reason my YouTube is not working right now. Hold on. Let me refresh that. Okay, hopefully we have a YouTube is on at the moment. Uh, let's find out here. Hopefully we are on here. Can you guys hear me okay? We are on here. Okay, good. You know what? Here's what YouTube did, okay? Because I have the ad block on my computer. If you have an ad block on your YouTube, and then you cannot watch it, okay? You cannot watch there. So, man, they're clever, all right? Those people are clever. So, so you have to watch the ads, okay? That is unfortunate, but hey, that's what it is, okay? That's what it is. Let's see. Well, Brandon from Kansas. We got John from PA. Hold on. Well, so we got three, three percent from Florida. We have a vague from England. Man, oh, that's right. You guys are in the UK, so you guys are way ahead of us. Okay, 10 p.m. over there. Shout out to Mr. Rainbow from Tel Aviv. Okay, I hope you're you're doing okay. It's a lot going on in that parts of the world, so make sure to be safe. Okay, be safe there. We have Justin from Tarsa. Shout out to Bruce from Minnesota. So. Bruce, is, uh, Bruce are you, I, mean, I saw your message this morning. So you are doing the, the James Hopman, the blind tasting thing there. Okay. We have a uh, Kevinator from, is that California as well? Is that Cali? Is that Cali there? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, we're going to have some fun live demo for you. Okay. If you have a flow control, okay, if you have flow control on your coffee machine, so, I mean, it, it can be any, Flow control. Okay, it could be the Let Bianca or you know, Rocket has flow control, you can add it. Puff Attack, ECM, doesn't matter. If you have a flow control on your coffee machine and uh, you are going to make uh, you are going to make this shot. Okay, so make sure if you have flow control, make sure uh, try this method okay tomorrow morning or this weekend for sure. Have you guys ever seen okay, uh, I think last year or so, okay, everybody rave about it's called espresso hack okay so check this out let me show you the uh, quick video on it okay so a lot of video he said chill espresso okay okay so we got that last year and also hold on yeah you say that all the well, so you say chill, ice ball. Okay. You see that? So that's pretty popular uh, last year or so, you know. I think a uh, company called Paragon, okay. company called Paragon actually uh, made this ice ball system. You can get one for $150, all right. I think everybody raving about it. People use that for your espresso and also filter coffee as well. All right. Unfortunately, we not, I don't have that any kind of equipment, but uh, we're going to do something. We're going to hack. Okay. We're going to do the hacking method. We're going to hack it. All right. So I've been chilling. Okay. Uh, I'm using the spouted pour filter. Put some ice in it. That's it. And also puck screen as well. Everything is all chill. Okay. So, I mean, this is pretty simple. Okay, I think this is a lot easier than, you know, get the ball, uh, ice ball on your uh, freezer. You know what, just put some ice cubes in it, just chill for a while. And uh, I think, uh, hold on, let me check the temperature on the pour filter. Okay, I got my uh, temperature going here. Okay, it's going to be, 
it's about, hold on a second here. It's about 25 Celsius, 24 Celsius. It's pretty cold. Okay, 24 Celsius. Uh, about 75 degree, uh, 75 Fahrenheit. 75? That's not making any sense though. 75? 76? Uh, it's not right, okay? This is definitely not right. All right, but it's, this is extremely cold. Let's put it that way, all right? And then uh, we're gonna do, the reason why I'm gonna use this method, uh, theory behind this compound chilling is you have to lock in that wonderful flavor, all right? Give it a nice balanced shot, okay? Uh, give you that beautiful balanced shot. So uh, some of you, I, I think, uh, if you guys joined me on live streaming last couple of weeks, I've been brewing Seattle Coffee Works. So Seattle Coffee Works. Seattle Coffee Works. So this coffee from uh, Ethiopia, it's called Dermosa, okay? Peach candy, apple, and guava, okay? Last three times I tried it, I did not get the, those tasting notes. And uh, I was talking to Dogman this morning. Uh, Dogman's been using his uh, own method, okay? So what he's doing is right now, he, he does the uh, 20 gram in and 40 gram out. So he, he called 420 method. And then, and also he's using the, he has a decent, okay, express motion. So he's gonna do the actual pressure profiling. Unfortunately, if we have a flow control machine, we cannot do pressure, but we can control the water flow, okay, to kind of like fake it, okay? We can actually mimic it. So my, it's gonna be, recipe is going to be, I'm gonna do chill, Pour a filter with about 20 gram going in, and then I'm going to extract about 40 gram out. And I'm going to do pretty long pre infusion, okay, about 20 seconds of infusion there with a really, really low, okay, water flow. More like 1.5 milliliter per second, okay. It's going to be under two, two milligram per second. So milliliter means two gram per second. So it's really, really soft, gentle pre-infusion for about 20 seconds. And then I'm gonna go up to about nine bar pressure. Okay, I'm just gonna straight up to nine bar pressure. Uh, finish around 40 gram. So that is the plan. And then hopefully we're gonna get the peach tasting note out. Peach, apple, and guava. So again, uh, if you have a sports machine at home, capable of doing flow control, make sure try it. Okay, uh, we have, hold on, Paragon just using just using the first 20% off for the first few seconds of brew. Okay, 20% off. Is it 20% off or 20, 20 few seconds to brew? I'm not sure. Okay. Again, uh, so this is peach candy. Peach candy, I cannot. It's gonna be fun. Okay, it should be a very easy recipe. I know anybody can uh, follow this recipe at home as well. Again, the Paragon. I mean, I really like the machine, you know, I really like the setup, but again, it's 120 bucks. I mean, it is a little pricey, okay. With the ice, with the ice bucket, hey, that's pretty inexpensive, so I bet you anybody can do this, okay. Again, this is really cold right now, really chill. So I'm gonna work pretty fast there. So this is the puck screen is also nice and chilled as well. I'm already measured out 20 gram. So let's brew this coffee quick. Okay. Meantime, I'm gonna flip my camera for a second. Uh, I'm using the height uniformity uh, grinder too. Okay, it's gonna be height uniformity, uh, height uniformity from uh, DF83, SSPHU. Little bit of RDT there. Grind size pretty fine. Okay. Right. There we go. I'm using my Brista Hustle WDT tool here. Lock it in perfectly. 
Okay, I'm just gonna give it a quick temp, okay? Give it a quick temp. And then we should be all ready to go, all right? So now I'm gonna add this chill, cold puck screen as well. So everything about this is ice cold, okay? There we go, guys. Let's lock it in. Oh, goodness. You know what? Hold on. I need to change my port filter. This is not quite compatible there. Actually, you know what? It's it's not gonna work because goodness, the problem with uh, this particular port filter, it's not quite locked it in here. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm just gonna see. It's slightly off. All right, hold on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have a low pressure as a flow control here. There we go. Yeah, I just popped that. Popped that. Yeah, problem with this port filter I'm having some issues with it. It's not quite locked in. I, I need to contact the Posada. Okay. I need to contact the Posada there. That is, so this is unfortunate. So this is what happens when we are doing the live streaming. Okay. Because it does happen. Okay. Unfortunately, it does happen there. Uh, that is too bad. Okay, hold on. We're gonna try again. Okay, I'm gonna try this method one more time. All right, okay, because yeah, this is not. We're gonna get it right. Okay, we're gonna get it right here. Okay, if you are joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. So, uh, so this uh, this particular port filter works perfectly. So this one is I just got from Posada recently. So. Okay, I'm just gonna get the, get ready, the second one. By the way, if you're joining us for the first time, let me know, okay, let me know in the comment section, all right. Yeah, I'm just, the great thing about this one, I can actually remove the bottom. Check, check this out, okay. I'm just going to remove this right now. Okay. okay, hold on a second here. It is, it is not perfect here at the moment. All right. We're going to get it right. Okay, we're going to get it right. Uh, we have a drip sideways say, uh, uh, this is going to be interesting. It is, isn't it? All right, it's gonna be very interesting because I do want to try this chill method for sure. Okay, I'm, meantime, I'm gonna chill this for now. Okay, I'm gonna chill it. Okay. Hold on, I'll be right back, folks. Okay, I'll be right back. Hold on one second, you guys. Okay, folks, I'm back here again. Hold on a second. Elaine said he got my shirts today. Excellent. All right. Fantastic. 
finally get to Australia there. Okay. So you have to have special tools, all right, if you're going to swap out. I'm going to get the swap out here. So you got to have to swap out these tools, just, just like so. Okay. Oh, okay. Elaine in Iceland. Okay. Correction there. Correction. Elaine in Iceland. So unfortunately, this is a little stuck. You know, hold on a second, you guys. Hold up. We're going to do another method. Okay. We're going to find a way, folks. Don't worry. Okay. I know you guys are wonder what is going on here about all right we're gonna find a way again if you are joining us we are going to make chilled espresso all right using okay i have another set here All right, I'm Neil. Shout out to I'm Neil. Okay, so here's uh, another uh, another one. Okay, we're gonna get there eventually. Okay, we have. You said trust the process. Yes, you gotta. You definitely need to trust the process. Eventually, we're gonna make it happen. All right, here we go. I'm just going to remove the handle. Have you ever watched John Wick movie? Is that John Wick? Which movie was it? Goodness. I think John Wick 3. The one scene. He has the gun store. And the he goes, you know, he's trying to mix and match. Hold on. Hold on here. Hold on, what is going on here, guys? This has become a problem here. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna find a way here. Yeah, we are going to find a way. Some is stuck. Oh. It's not, you know what? Okay, for, forget the chill. Okay, chill espresso here. It's not happening today. Okay, uh, we'll be back for uh, tomorrow. Okay, and then we're gonna get it right next time. Goodness. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna play with uh, flow profiling instead. Okay, we are having some huge technical difficulty here. Hold on. You know what? Hold on a second here. Never mind. Hold on. I told you we're going to find a way. We are going to find a way, folks. We got it. We have another spouted polar filter. I'm just going to chill for a little bit. All right. Okay. So, Amnia, hey, Amnia, uh, you can actually uh, remove the, all the water from boiler by just heat it up, just use the uh, boiler to just uh, empty out the water. That's it. That's all you got to do. Okay. Yeah, you don't need to do much. Uh, you're not going to get 100%, but it's going to be close enough. Okay, it's going to be close enough. So, so that's what you got to do. All right. Okay, well, we are going to chill the... Uh, Pori filter a little bit right now. That is unfortunate though. Okay, I, I, I need to contact the uh, yeah, Posado team because uh, the one of 
I think it's perfect, but except that one pore filter, I got it's not quite okay, not quite fit. Okay, not quite fit there. So. So let's get ready one more time. So we're gonna go 20 gram in. Okay. Man, I just waste you guys like 20 minutes of your time, guys. Okay. 20 minutes of time. So this is so this this happens time to time. Okay. Doesn't matter how much I prepare for the session. I got a great shot earlier. Okay. Uh, Lena asked me, do you think it's a missing gasket? No, it's not a gasket issue. Yeah, it's not the gasket. It's not, unfortunately, it's not quite fit. Okay, not quite fit there. That's why it's a loose. Yeah. I've seen that happens pretty rarely, but it does happen. All right. It does happen. So, uh, we're going to do one more time. Here we go. There we go. All right, 20 gram going in again. If you are watching this after the fact, just skip the earlier section, okay? We got a few people out watching right now. Chill, pull the filter here. Uh, I'm using the IMS baskets. WDT tools. At least I got my WDT tools right. Here we go. Right, let's try one more time, folks. We're gonna get it right this time. You're gonna lock it in here. <clears throat> okay. We're going to do one more time, okay? We're going to do about 20 seconds pre-infusion. Just make sure you look at the time there. And then I'm going to go low. Pretty much I'm going to go about 1 gram, 1.5 like gram per second of flow. All right. Very soft. And I'm going to go up to 9 bar. Okay, look at the flow there. I'm going to stop around like 40 gram. 34 seconds. Okay. So about 20 second pre-infusion, about 14 to 15 second uh, actual shot. Okay, so now you're going to have this beautiful shot of espresso. So that's what I'm trying to get earlier. Okay. All right. Again, I'm looking for that peach candy, apple and guava. Okay. I'm looking for that peach candy, apple and guava. So again, if you're just joining us, uh, I think you guys missed the fun parts earlier. Okay. It was a uh, there was a, I don't want to say the word, but 
Yeah, here we go. Cheers, guys. I can definitely smell... I, I don't want to say peach, but kind of like a green apple there. Here we go. Cheers. Man. You know what? Uh, hold on. Let, let, let me try one more time. I guess strong, uh, kind of like apple. Okay, yeah, very nice apple taste, very balanced. The the finishing touch is kind of like, have you guys, have you guys ever tried the Jolly Rancher? Very tangy, the finish, the uh, tangy to your mouth there, your tongue, very tangy, sweet. I'm looking for that peach candy. I'm, I'm more like candy apple. Okay, I'm getting the candy apple instead of peach. All right. I'm getting the candy apple instead of peach. I mean, this is, okay, I highly recommend it to try, okay, if you have time tomorrow morning or this weekend. Simply just chill your pore filter. All right, just chill it. Okay. And then just, uh, just, just do the shots. All right. I think it's going to give you kind of like different tasting notes. Definitely give you that different tasting note that, wow, this is something what I, what I did not expect. It. Okay, so I highly recommend it. I want you to try this weekend. Uh, it does make a big difference. Okay, the especially pressure profile make a big difference. Okay, because I mean, if, you, if I do the nine bar straight up, it's not the same. Okay, it's not the same there, so. Yeah. Again, uh, if you haven't tried the uh, pressure profiling, not the pressure, uh, flow, okay? Uh, it's not the exactly like pressure, but you know, the flow control actually changed the pressure anyway, in a way. It's not a one-to-one, -one, but still close enough there. All right. Okay. All right, what else? Okay, what else there? Again, if you are joining us for the first time, let me know on the... Uh, Live chat, we got, let's see, we got Jorge is also joining us from Portugal as well. All right. Okay, let's see here. All right, uh, the Omnior said, I waste eight hours today at work. I mean, at least you are making money though, Omnia. Okay, you did not waste your money. You actually make money today. All right. But again, I mean, I'm glad you guys are here hanging out with me for the last 27 minutes. You know, kind of like stay, away, you know, kind of like away from the real life. Just make some coffee, hang out for a little bit. Yeah. Linda say, Lina say, does non, uh, non-fresh beans require fine grinds? Uh, it depends, right? It comes to grinder setting is such personal. Okay. The machine by machine. So machine to machine. So it's all different there, but yeah. In general, okay, if you order your coffee beans, I think, you know, you do want to grind a little finer, but, you know, hey, play with it, okay? All right, just play with it. Let's see, someone say, let's see here. Uh, Ernest say, you messed up Bianca. No, no, it's not the Bianca issues. It's the pore filter. Okay, it's not, this pore filter is not quite fit. Let's put it that way, okay? I wonder, I don't know why, okay? I wonder I got the wrong ones or I got the thin ones from oh yeah did you see this okay so this is the uh, pore filter that works great okay I think they sent me the wrong one I think yeah yeah I think they sent me the wrong one I need to reach out to Posada they sent me the I bet you this one fit into like La Merzac or something yeah it's definitely enough for the Bianca there yeah that is unfortunate, for sure. Okay, that is unfortunate for sure. Let's see here. Any tips for NT popcorn? For the what niche duo? Any tips for NT popcorn? I mean, I saw somebody make that little, uh, little device. I don't know. I mean, you know, I have no issues with NT popcorning on the duo, the niche duo. But yeah, I don't know how many grams you are putting in there, so. Let's see, what else? Anything else going on uh, for the your side of the world? 
besides Mr. Rainbow? Okay, hold on. Shout out. We got Ahmed also joining us as well, too. Okay, hold on a second. I think we are. Are we good? Uh, someone talked about the uh, niche duo. Okay, yeah, again, uh, I've. I mean, you shouldn't have uh, popcorn issues, though. Okay, you shouldn't have any popcorn issues for duo. I mean, if it, that's a little strange, if you ask me. All right. Yeah, because uh, I've been using duo for a while. I have no issues with it, so. Shout out to Amnir for the super sticker there. Let's see. Again, uh, there, was a, there was a mess earlier, wasn't it? But hey, but we got it done though. We got it done. All right. We got it done. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to big shout out to uh, Dogman22 for the, this recipe. Okay. I mean, Dogman is a pretty modest guy, so he doesn't want to... He doesn't make an announcement on that, but yeah, he is truly the coffee expert. So uh, he's also on our Discord member as well. So if you have any question about espresso, uh, he is the guy. Okay, he is the man. Comes to espresso. Yeah. He's he's a full of knowledge. Let's put it that way. Full of knowledge. All right. Uh, by the way, so uh, joining our Discord is again once again that's anybody can join it. Uh, just come hang out with us. We go live streaming every single day. Uh, we got uh, we are doing the simulcast right now. So we have friends from the friends from the all over the world. Okay, and if you're uh, again just joining us, we just made a chilled espresso shot using the flow control. Uh, it was good, I have to say. So this is quite pleasant, surprisingly quite pleasant. Okay, if you haven't tried, highly recommend it. All right, highly recommend it. What else? Uh, by the way, so Bravo Pizza Express and Pro is still on sale right now on Amazon, okay? So if you are still looking for machine, make sure to take advantage of that. Uh, limited time offer there. Okay. And then, uh, man, smells pretty good still. I'm, I'm just going to try. Uh, this has been chilled for a while, so. Now I can taste the peach, okay? Now I can taste the peach. Yeah, now I can. Uh, okay, so we have a unknown, unknown, let's say, can you say the recipe again? Maybe, actually, you know what? You can create that on the 58 easily, right? So you're gonna do the 20 second pre-infusion, okay? With a ve maybe like one bar at the most, all right? You're gonna do 20 gram in. So you're gonna do about 20, uh, you're gonna do about 20, Seconds up, kind of like very gentle, okay, pressure, all right? Very gentle pressure. So you're gonna have about, after 20 seconds, you're gonna have about like three or four grams of coffee on the bottom there. And then gradually you're going to wrap up to about nine bar pressure there, you know, eight or nine bar, have uh, uh, 40 grams of shots, okay? 40 grams of shots, so 20 gram in, 40 gram out. So Ryan likes to call a 420 method, okay? And then you're gonna have, so within about 35 seconds, okay? About 20, so 20 seconds of pre-infusion, 15 seconds of actual shots. So, I mean, you should be pretty easy now. And then make sure to chill your pore filter as well. Just chill it, okay? And then, hold on. And then you can actually, uh, you can make iced coffee with it as well. It's gonna be amazing with iced coffee too. Yeah. Yep, uh, yep. 20 second pre-infusion and the rest exactly correct. The pre-infusion just goes slowly. Okay. Well, okay, hold on a second here. The Dogman22 say this is the pro, uh, flow, uh, flow profile. It's online developed by sub, sub, a Substance Cafe. Uh, and uh, it's on our uh, technique tabs. I mean, again, uh, Ryan is very modest, okay. Okay, he, ha he actually gave his own twist to it, so yeah. Yeah, thank you for your contribution, Ryan. Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, Dogman say it would be hard to do on Flare 58, uh, flow, flow, flow. Uh, you know what, try anyway. Okay, just have, uh, have some fun with it. All right. Okay, just make your own recipe. Okay, so think of it as a guideline, right? Just think of it as starting points, you know. 
and then you just find your own recipe there. Uh, Linda asked, uh, Pro 2 doable? Yes, you can do it as well. Uh, with a little work, but yeah, it can be done. Okay, it can be done. Grind a little final. Okay, grind size, you know, final setting. You know, a little final than regular shot. If I'm going to pull the shot right now at the 20 gram shot, with the exact grind, uh, same grind, grind size with this just nine bar pressure, uh, it's gonna choke. Okay, it's gonna be choked for sure. But with the pre-fusion, uh, it makes everything nice and soft. So yeah. Ernest said, does Amazon sell ice boat? Yes, you can get one for like 10 bucks or so. All right, it's not that expensive. Yeah, hold on a second here, let's, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can get one for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. That's, uh, there's a lot of hack for that on the online. Before you buy the ice ball, just chill it with your, you know, your bowl, okay? Just try that one first, that method first. You know, you know, save some money, all right? I mean, you don't have to spend money on, you know, 15, 20 bucks. What else? I think we are good to go, okay, for this afternoon, all right? Uh, let's see here, next few days, uh, I'm going to be give you guys a live demo on Omega X. Maybe uh, let's do that tomorrow morning. Okay, this hand grinder from Mazo. All right, I'm really looking forward to trying now. So, this uh, the Omega X has the two uh birds. Okay, one is fast birds, one is standard birds, but this is the fast one, so everything should be fast. Okay, so looking forward to share that with you. I think I made an unboxing video last week. Slick hand grinder, okay, a very slick hand grinder, 47 millimeter conical, very interesting, all right, okay, let's see here, yep, so maybe like, maybe uh, let's do that tomorrow morning, okay, let's do tomorrow morning, uh, let's pull those shots, okay, let's make some, uh, so let's start with the filter coffee tomorrow morning, see how's the filter compared with the other, uh, uh, grinder there. As you can see, I do have some, you know, good selection of hand grinders behind me, so, yeah. Hold on a second here. Bruce? Okay, hold on. Uh, hold on. Oh, Bruce, uh, Bruce has a breaking news for us. Bruce has a breaking news. Uh, I'm not a barista, so I'm not a barista. Uh, they're coming up with their own version of grinder, okay? What's the name of that grinder? Bruce, what's the name of the grinder? Uh, Well-known grinder, though. And then uh, delay on their double grinder. So yeah, uh, so they have a pre-breaker and regular grinder. So they delay on their hand grinder. That's kind of like very interesting hand grinder uh, from I'm not a Brewster. So I'm not a Brewster. Is that it's you know it, that's the name of the company? Uh, Momentum. Okay, Momentum is their grinder there. Yeah, Momentum has been uh, teasing us for last uh, year or so, a couple years. Yeah, Momentum, yeah. And, because I did had a live chat with Mickey from I'm Not a Brista. And then, uh, because they've, you know, that's that's very small startup company. Because, you know, you know it's, it's better to delay than, right? Just, uh, you know, ship it out, you know, unproven products, so I think they are doing the right thing there, okay? I think they are doing the right thing, all right? Yeah, because, yeah, because you want, especially grinder markers are so competitive, so competitive right now. So, I mean, if you send it up subpar products, nobody gonna buy it, so yeah. yeah so I'm, I'm glad they are delaying it. So hopefully they're gonna get it right. Okay, what else? Uh, I must say, at least they are not being sued. Have you guys heard about the side notes? Uh, is anybody older meticulous yet? Meticulous Express Machine. They are getting sued by Duval Espresso company in this uh, U.S. Okay, they are getting sued. So that's. So I think I did uh, made a video about that yesterday morning. Yeah. Hold on a second. You have a. We have Constantine. Constantine say, I thought my coffee was old, even though labels say otherwise. With this, uh, with this special leader, it was too quick 
it pull, okay. Too quick means uh, grinder size too coarse, all right? Too coarse. Uh, okay, and I brought the duo and the choke with the guys of, oh, interesting, around eight dial, okay. So, so again, uh, it's different from gr grinder to grinder. Because my DF83 uh, right now, I mean, I'm using, my grind size is, that grind size is pretty fine, but I'm like, hold on, one, two, three, four, four large clicks away from the, uh, the, the uh, zero point, okay, the tripping points, four large clicks. Compared to my Meisenberg's, I'm playing around maybe one large click. So it's all depend on the grinders and birds, especially birds though. Okay, it all depend on birds. Okay, folks, I think we are good for this morning. Uh, we've been talking for the last 40 minutes. Okay, first few minutes was a little challenging, but we figured it out though. Okay, uh, if you are watching it again, just skip the first part. All right, just skip the first part and uh, watch the rest. Okay, folks, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday evening. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.